Uh, I suppose I need to change my title and whatnot for this. Halo MCC Multiplayer. Let's see, all aboard the nostalgia tray. I miss I misspelled nostalgia. Thankfully my buddy Oh no, you can't right click it in uh Streamlabs and autocorrect. I know how to spell it. There we go. Uh Halo MCC Master Chief. So I just put in Halo. Halo the Master Chief Collection. I'm sorry, I had to add the the. Um Okay. Multiplayer online. Ugh, sorry, had to sneeze. First FPS. Nope. Okay, that's all. Alright, so that is updated. Halo multiplayer. Do social and I'm down for basically any game mode. I think 4 for 4, or, four I'm sorry, 4v4 four is generally the best um, lobby size. Because you can have a lot of fun with um, big team battles and whatnot, but it's a lot more balanced if you're just going with um, just 4v4. In my opinion, at least. It is not objective fact. I think I can make an argument for it. But, I don't feel like making a video essay. <laughs> uh, Halo 3 Assembly uh, Multi-Bomb. It is so rare to even find people, um, especially back in the heyday of Halo 3, just people even willing to play objectives. It was like Slayer or nothing. It was like, I think the three biggest modes, it was Slayer, uh, Big Team, Battle, Slayer, whatever, and then... Um, it's SWAT. And then I guess like, uh, s s uh, uh, s fuck, what was it called? Snipers and shotguns mode, whatever, whatever it's called. Shoddy snipers, I believe. Um, the, whenever it was like a seasonal playlist or whatever, those were always the popular ones. Cause you could see like the player count for each playlist back in the day, at least. Bomb dropped. Oh, we have to take the bomb to the enemy base. Okay. This is going to go horribly, because no one's going to defend me. Because no one ever plays objective in Halo. <laughs> oh shit. Damn it. There we go. Oh, I heard a ding. Who's there? Oh, it's me. I... It's all good. It is ish. Oh, defended the bomb. See, so I gotta mess with my audio in a second when I'm relatively safe. Um, let's see. Da -da. Lower this to 50, and then jack my audio output up to 2. That should be good. How's your day, Benish? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I think I had too much ceviche again, so I'm like, whoo! <laughs> Ooh, ceviche is good. That ceviche last night was a, was amazing. I know um, my girlfriend does. She she gets like super crazy obsessed with like I'll introduce her a new food and then she'll just want to have that for like two weeks straight. That's a so good it, habit. It, it was a good. <laughs> I approve. Yes, it was a good ceviche week. Yeah, it's just like, I guess I just, I, I think I put too much chili sauce, so I was feeling it a little bit around oh, 5 no. p.m. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> and I thought cake, when I was telling you I was going to go get cake, would solve the problem. And I'm like, I'm not solving anything, but I'm fine right now. <laughs> so that's fine. I'm making tea now and heating up some quesadillas from Trader Joe's because I'm so lazy. Nice. <laughs> there was a... Uh... I think it was like a week or two ago. I, I don't even remember what I ate that was spicy, but I had a whole lot of it. And like the next day at work, it was I was just like constant bathroom trips. I'm like, my life is hell right now. 
<laughs> but the food was so good, it was worth it. I'm yeah, sure. you know, sometimes you just have to do it. You know, you gotta do it for the taste buds. Do it for Hell the grub. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is that you, Cory? That is Cory Bear lurking, but he is walking away, and I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's gonna put the food in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love being at your guys' place. It was, uh, that's an awesome location, awesome layout. I, I yeah, am so I like the layout theater sure. room. I was like, oh, we'll soon be together down there and actually play some board games. Because, yeah. you know, we haven't play played a society in forever. <laughs> I was telling Dez about the uh, wall of Funkos you guys have. And she's oh, like gosh. so envious. She's like, yeah, wait, Cory, Cory has a wall of Funkos. I'm like, yep. And she's like, and she, and he keeps them in the boxes. I'm like, yep. He's like, I love Cory. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because uh, I only really got into Funko Pops so was when this documentary about Funko went on Netflix, mm -hmm. and um, I wasn't into them before that documentary. But then I was watching it with Cory, and I. All these people were like being obsessive over Funko Pops, and I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? I like this, and then I ended up being obsessed. So I ended up buying a lot of Funkos. Yeah. And but then, like when we moved into our new place, we we're like, or right, like into the place we're at now, it's like, oh gosh, you know, <laughs> like we have way too many. We, it's like I think we had like three boxes of Home Depot boxes filled with Funkos. So I was like, we can't be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um. It's so like, I think like the only one I had for the longest time was like Grunt from Mass Effect. And then uh, my, gr my girlfriend got me hooked because we have a bunch of hers in our closet that, pe that like people can see. But she brought over like three big ass boxes of like stuff she had at her old place. And uh, I don't even know where the heck we're going to put them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that, we only put them downstairs because I was like, I think this is like a good spot, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I think my favorite Funko Pop out of the whole collection is the goat from The Witch. A24 is The Witch. I don't know if you've seen it. But, I don't um, think I saw that one, but yeah. It's like the most it's like the most random thing I thought. I was like, wait, you converted the goat from this random movie I like into a pop. And I'm like, okay. And then I think out of the collection I wanted to make sure I had 100% was... Um, the Steven Universe cartoon. Um, I just like Steven Universe a lot. Corey got me into that show. I didn't think I would. You know, I thought it was super cheesy. I was like, this is too cheese for me. But after going into like episode eight or nine, I got hooked. And, and I was like, I got to have all the pops. Nice. I, I still haven't gotten into Steven Universe. I, I guess I kind of stopped watching TV like around. What year would that have been? Like 2009 or something? Yeah. I mean, that's how it is. I mean, like, you know, I, I only watch it if, you know, if there's an app and there's no yeah. <laughs> commercials. Let's see. Oh, Corey, you have... Not Corey, I'm sorry, not Corey. Uh, Casey, <laughs> you have three. Which which ones do you have? I I have, like, I think 20, 25-ish myself now. And they're all out of the boxes. My girlfriend hates me for it. Yeah, I think that's funny. It, it kills her every single time I, I pull one out. I'm just like, oh no, I like I like them sitting on my entertainment center for my TV. I think it's funny when I predicted some of the pops, you know, like I would, I think it was like two years ago. I was like, they better make a Selena pop. And I think that just came out in February and I haven't purchased it. Mm -hmm. But I was like, another pop I'm waiting for is a Bjork pop, you know, I want Bjork really badly. I would take that. Mm -hmm. is, there a Bjork, is there a pop that you're not a Bjorky magic. Is there a pop that you're waiting for? Um, that has well, for like made. one that is that isn't out. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What would I really want? Hmm. Right. <laughs> There's already like so much out there. I know, but they, they they keep regurgitating. Like I was at Target and I was like, I saw some pops where they zombified the Marvel characters. Oh, yeah. I'm like, okay. 
you know what? I'm waiting for the, some real IP here, and I'm like, this, this is just regurgitating. That that's an easy way to like just double the amount of pops they have, just like zombie versions of everything. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm waiting here for like. I don't know what else. Do oh well, I got the Miranda Priestly pop, like Double Wears Prada pops when they came out. Oh, nice. But that was one I was hoping they'd make, and they did, and I freaked out. Got mm. those. Ah, uh, actually, I have two Anne Hathaways. One is out of the box, and one is in the box. The one out of the box is on my desk. <laughs> I I think um, I know there's probably like a master because I know there's like random Spartans from Halo or whatever. But I really like the Arbiter. I, I'd like a Halo, um, an Arbiter pop. I'm trying to think what else. Like uh, the last one I got was pretty cool. It's one of the um, Thunder Jaws from uh, Horizon. So it's like a big old T-Rex robot-looking thing. Kill joy. I think I even <laughs> kind of like. I think I generally like those a little bit more than like maybe like the standard pops, just because they're. Guess not like the regular template, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Looks cool. And I'm just gonna respond to Windrake's comment. I think all Steven, char Steven Universe characters are critical. There's no such thing <laughs> as non-critical role characters. <laughs> I, I really need to get into critical role. Like I, all I do at work is listen to podcasts. So sounds like the perfect thing for me to get into. I've, um, she wasn't going to say, I've never really even had that much luck getting into D&D &D or Pathfinder in general. I mean, I can bear, I, I only done one D&D &D session in Fresno maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I had fun, but I know that, you know, I think that's a whole different skill set or patience or commitment or, you know, I think it's mostly a commitment, you know, to do yeah. that weekly. But, um. I think for me, it's like I know that some D and D sessions go really long. I just sort of would need to know when there's a beginning, middle, and end to something because you know that's how I feel about television. It's like there's no end sometimes, and I'm like I need like a mini series or something because I can't do going on forever and figuring out where this story's going. You know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I maybe even just prefer movies to uh, TV because I'm just like, okay, like at max most movies are going to go up to like two hours, two and a half. Yeah. Unless it's like a Lord of the Rings or something. But. Yeah, but even then it's like Lord of the Rings has a beginning, middle, and end and that's what's nice. So I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. But I am looking forward to the new Lord of the Rings uh, show from Amazon. It's sort of ridiculous. I forget how much of a budget they had, but it's like Lord of the Rings. I want to see if they make The Hobbit into six seasons. Right? Oh, no, that was horrible. The <laughs> Hobbit was like, that one hurt my soul. I went to the theaters at 3 a.m. thinking it was going to be like the greatest thing ever. And like two, like, I think it was like, we were like there like 45 minutes earlier. And someone comes out of the theater to go to, for a bathroom break and literally tells the people in line, like, this is awful. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, don't you say that. And we go in there. It's like, oh, my God, it's awful. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, it's not awful. 100 percent. I think it was just also I watched it. At, what, what was it? I can't remember how many for 48 frames per second. Yeah. Yeah. So it just sort of like threw me off. And then I was on IMAX and it was like, you know, again, like by the time I was watching it, it was like 430 AM and I still had two hours in where I'm like, oh, gosh, mm -hmm. daylight was coming out, you know, by the time I was exiting the theater. But I was like, what did I just watch? <laughs> uh, everything, all the orcs was what really bothered me because I was like, why aren't the orcs? like prosthetics or like you know how they did it in the original one with makeup this one was just all cgi and i was like really irked by that too and i was just i was i'm mean, just being picky you know but yeah. the hobbit wasn't for me but i'm hoping better with this lord of the rings amazon show let's see it oh uh windrick says it's good to watch um arcadum's D, D games they're they're totally baller I have, to, I, have a, I have so much stuff. I have like just a Google Doc of like to to watch or to play stuff. It's it's a long list. Uh, oh, slight confession. Um, I have not seen all the Lord of the Rings movies. Yes, I think you just wait. I don't, I don't know if you did say that yesterday, but there's still time for you. There's still time for you in this world <laughs> to watch one of the most important trilogies. 
in cinema. Right. <laughs> I, I have, um, I think they're all on HBO Max. I think I, I know. And they also have the extended versions now. When HBO Max released them, when we were watching it last year, Corey and I, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this, they're not extended. But I was like, oh, whatever, I'll watch them. But now they have the extended versions. And I'm like, do I really want to rewatch them again? I'm probably, I probably, in my brain, I was like, I don't want to say yes. But, you know, I won't be out for a week. Or actually, you know what? <laughs> I, I think I have technically seen the movies. I, um... I saw the second one first. It was very confusing. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was mm -hmm. like nine or something. So like 99% of it went over my head. Oh, yeah, that could totally happen. Yeah. And then I watched the third one like years after. I'm just like, I don't know. The, the action scenes are cool. Yeah. And then, I, and then I actually like sat down and watched the first one a couple years ago. And I just never saw the other two again. Yeah, you got You just got to gotta go have a good sit down. Have some tea, maybe have some bagels or some cheesy little cheddar pastries or something. You know, hey, you guys just always have the best food it. ideas. <laughs> I think I'm just in for the experience. You know, it's like yeah. if I'm gonna watch something, I have to enjoy something while I'm eating it. And you need me a big <laughs> bag of popcorn. Oh, I know, but it's scary how much popcorn. <laughs> you know, like some. So I always check for popcorn sodium. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, when I went to the movie theater the other the other day to watch uh, Mortal Kombat, I just got the biggest tub of popcorn. He said, "Oh, do you want butter on this?" I'm like, "Oh, fuck yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> I literally told him that. I was like, "I've been waiting I mean, for this for yeah. like a year, dude." <laughs> fuck yeah! <laughs> Fucking spread it, dude. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, do you know which theater uh, chain you went to? Yeah, it was uh, Cinemark over in uh, Union Landing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah, that place. Their little uh, movie club or whatever. Yeah. And I, I, I still have to check if my them. movie club is still charging me, because they stopped charging me, because I was like a monthly um, movie club member, but then like mm. when the pandemic hit, everything went on pause. Yeah, for me, so. they they they, um, they kept like all my benefits or whatever, but they weren't actively charging. So it's like whenever you buy something through it, that's when it reactivates. I hope, yeah. I, I had like all my old points, like I didn't pay for my tickets just because I had um, like accumulated uh, yeah. free tickets and then I had points to spend like on other free stuff. Yeah. Gosh, I, I think for me I'm just mostly excited for Kettle Corn. <laughs> I'm honestly not I'm a like big Kettle, kettle corn, corn guy. I know, a lot of people aren't, but I'm like, I don't know what it's with it, you know? It's like, maybe because I, I can't make that at home as easily as normal buttery popcorn. <laughs> what about cheesy popcorn oh yeah cheesy popcorn's good actually you know what's funny is um i recently discovered because i was so bored one night at 4 a.m um i because i went to mexico back as a kid like maybe it was like eight or nine and in tijuana there's this movie theater chain called cinepolis and it's a mexican uh cinema chain and i was like are they still around and i you know write the name cinepolis and i find out there's one locally nearby in san mateo and i was like oh my gosh i want to go because i wanted to because I, if i remember right when i went to cinepolis over there there was some chili popcorn that they had and i was like i want that i hope they have that here i don't know <laughs> i could be wrong but i i hope they have it <laughs> nice so that's the first. That's the theater channel I'm actually uh, looking forward to going once I'm fully vaccinated. You said that was in uh, <laughs> San Mateo. Yeah, I didn't know this, and I was like, where, what, where, where have I been? Um, mostly because I've, I've been working a lot pre-pandemic, so I was like, I never knew the open one, and now that the open one, I'm like, I gotta go. I just gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm excited to go. Oh, how, what do you have, think like, of Mortal Kombat? Up... Oh, um, it was okay. Mm -hmm. It was um, like I was—I was just glad to be watching a movie in the theater, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, so even then, my opinion is probably a little bit higher than like if if, if uh, COVID never happened, I'd probably be a little harsher on it. Nah, yeah, um, yeah. It was good, dumb fun. It's got a lot of pacing issues, got a lot of narrative issues, and. <laughs> I, I guess like the thing like I studied the most in school was editing and so like that stuff always sticks out to me so there is a lot of annoying shit on that front one just like that is not 
this is bad. This is like something like I would be a TA looking at someone's editing and be like, uh, that that's nope. Got to fix so, that. So so for 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 that part, would you blame the script supervisor or the editor on that? <laughs> I'd say editor. There, there's just some bad cuts where I'm just like, you you can shave a you can shave a couple seconds off where like th this action scene loses <laughs> impact because you're leaving a lot of dead air in there. Got it. Got it. I was curious. I was like, oh, I always I was curious on. You know, it's always funny when, like, where, like, you know, when you don't like something, or, like, or, or an aspect to a movie, it's like, who do you blame? It's like, you can blame everybody collectively, or you can blame a director solely, but there's, like, so many little pe parts and pieces. Yeah, and, to, and like, uh, even so much movie. of that stuff can be, like, a producer coming in last second saying, no, nah, I like it this way, and the editor's yeah. like, I don't think so. And the producer's like, well, I'm, I got the paychecks. Mm hmm. And that's how it is sometimes. That is how it is. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a harsh world, the film world. Yeah, I was like, oh gosh. Oh shoot, someone's sniping for me. I think I, I think I knew what I was expecting, and that's why I was able to enjoy it. I was like, okay, you yeah. know, it, it can't be. I can't be worse than Annihilation. You know, that's what I tell myself. I've, I've never seen any of the older ones. Oh, okay. Isn't one of them supposed to be like actually pretty good? Well, the first one, the first Mortal Kombat, it, w it was enjoyable, you know, I, I enjoyed it for what it is. And, you know, um, there's things that you don't see now is like, you know, they they had um, actual set, you know, it's not nothing 3D, you know, 3D screen, like, you know, you're using real props and everything. Mm -hmm. And then like Annihilation was done all uh, like a majority of it was like horrible 3D, oh, 3D. No. And that I was don't like know. 90s CGI, right? I think it might have been, yeah, early 2000s or somewhere there. I think it was 90s CGI, but it was just, but it was, a, it was I don't really have a problem with 90s CGI, but when it's like the entire movie, we can tell it's like there's this green screen. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> he just looked like the, you just grabbed a Macintosh computer and made it out of the yeah. <laughs> iMovie or something. I don't oh, know. Jeez. The other thing that was weird to me, like, I, I feel like I'm being a lot harsher on it than I like. I had a good time with it. It, it was fun. The action was was cool. Some nice mm -hmm. uh, kills in there. Um, it's just always weird to me whenever they like do an adaptation and they like bring in like a, an original character to like try to describe the universe. Like 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 that's the audience yeah. insert. I'm yeah. Just like, I don't know. You could have just used Johnny Cage for that. Like that's kind of who he is in that universe already. Right now. But, oh. <laughs> whatever. Five minutes remaining. I mean, for me, like, um, I, I, I do feel that, you know, um, what is it? What recently I watched was, um, what was that movie called? Mila Jovovich. Resident Same director. Evil, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. It, it's sort of like, at least, I, I mean, at least with this latest one, uh, the film was sort of like, you know, the character is still, you know, it was. I guess it just felt more honest to the intellectual property of Mortal Kombat. I don't really play Mortal Kombat as much, so that's why I probably don't have a, as much of as an attachment to other people, mm -hmm. you know, that are watching it. They know all the names, they know all the moves, they know all the final blows and the fatalities. Me, I'm just like, I'm coming in from a perspective of like, I enjoyed the 90s versions for, you know, how crazy they got, and I'll just, I'm just jumping in, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. I just felt like um, that Cole Young character was like, you know, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't awful, you know, like, yeah, I, I mean, wasn't cringing was, was totally a lot fine. or anything. Like, usually whenever it's an adaptation, I like I like for it to do, like, radically wild things because I just don't want, it, like, a one-to-one -one translation. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I wouldn't say it was, like, even necessarily negative, just, like, a weird thing. It's just it's just new information, I guess. Yeah. Or I mean, you know, it's like it's like sometimes I I do get irked by like it's like why aren't we just keeping it to the same characters? And that's how I felt with um, I think it was the Simpsons. I didn't care for the villain. I didn't care for the King and the Little Mermaid played in that SpongeBob movie from two thousand four. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, like they always add in somebody else. So like, how about we just worry about Plankton? Plankton. I mean, like I know I know Plankton was like still a side like you know a, a villain in that movie but it's just sort of like give me more plankton doing something yeah. more diabolical let, let him actually get the secret formula or something or like i don't know mess me up you know but yeah 
It's like I, I that's when they do get irked when it's like they add somebody else in the story that wasn't originally part of the, like a show or game. I'm like, who are you? You know, Mess, <laughs> messing with the SpongeBob cinematic universe. I know, right? I haven't watched the newest one yet, but I don't hear good things. But I'm like, I'm still gonna watch it. I mean, I, I'm I should probably watch it just to see how far I've lived, you know, and see. Yeah. Oh wow. Sweet. Let's see. I like your desk setups, by the way. Oh, thank you. I know my desk was a little messy, but mine's old school, you know. Yeah. And then, like, you know, I have my corner of all the stuff I've done, and I don't know. I like my space. It's new. <laughs> I mean, and I, then, I, um, I used it back in like 2006, but I like MySpace. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jeez, I feel old when you just said 2006. I was like, what? I was 15. That was a half my life ago. Oh, geez, and like then, uh, with stuff right yeah, like uh, King Corbear's standing desk is nice, and I got him that for his birthday. I want to make sure it was green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christmas gift, yes. I know, I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, I'm getting old. Dirty, flirty, and thriving. <laughs> Let's see, how old are you ish? I'm 32. Nice. <laughs> oh, 30. Not 32, but 30. <laughs> 30 as well. 30 also. Yes. All right, I'm, I'm here, I'm queer, and I'm ready to. Oh, so let me go to Technically, this is your last day of your 20s. Quarter. It is. It is the final day of my twenties. Yes. Oh my god! What a concept. Yeah. Let me, let me get one of those uh, uh, pictures from Majora's Mask, where it says like twelve hours till next day. Oh god! Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 approximately three hours and thirty minutes until I'm thirty. <laughs> 